Hey, what's up, guys? So, as you may have noticed, um, I'm going to be trying out something new today. Uh, I'm gonna do some narration along with just the regular vlogging. I saw someone, I saw a vlog that ha did this, and so I thought I might try it out. So, if you like it, you know, you can leave a comment, or if you don't like it, you can tell me you don't like it. And so, yeah. So for this vlog, um, I was vlogging my trip to North Carolina. I was doing some college visits out there. So enjoy. So just got to DIA. Ready to fly. So that morning, I had to get up at about seven. So I'm looking pretty tired there because I didn't get to sleep until maybe around three, three thirty ish, and I just couldn't fall asleep that night so I was pretty miserable waking up. So I'm about to board this flight to Washington. It's a connecting flight to North Carolina. And it's gonna be a four hour flight. Just landed in DC. So after landing in DC we had about a two hour layover before our flight to North Carolina. So we looking around the terminal for some places to eat and we ended up at this sandwich place on the other side of the terminal. And it was pretty good. They had a sandwich called a wreck. It was just filled with a bunch of stuff. And it was good, yeah. So after eating then we headed back to our gate and then we were on our flight to North Carolina. This was pretty cool. Passenger Aaron Randallick, please come back to gate D1. So the flight from Washington to North Carolina was actually only an hour, so it wasn't that long of a flight. But when we arrived in North Carolina, the pilot informed us of a paramedic that was gonna come on board to help a um, what is it a person off the plane because he was feeling sick and he needed medical attention or something like that so yeah then we had to wait on the plane for a couple extra minutes but we were finally in North Carolina and it was good so here is um, the paramedic coming onto the plane to go get the guy. This is our rental car. So after getting here and going to eat, my first impression of North Carolina is, I don't know, it seems kind of quiet. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow and the rest of the trip. So yeah, see ya. So we just got to UNC. As you can see the campus. And so we're gonna start our tour soon. So that should be fun. Okay, so we were at the wrong place. And so we finally found Jackson Hall where we were supposed to be. That's it. And now we'll be starting our campus tour soon. So we're headed to a legendary old well on UNC. So what makes this well so special is that it was the first water well when the university first opened. So it's still there and you can drink out of it. But the water wasn't running that day. Oh, they're, doing. oh they're, they're teaching the thriller dance. They have, they have thriller day before Halloween where they teach it to a bunch of people. Yeah. This is a tree for UNC that says, as long as it stands, as long the university will stand. And here's its junior 
And they've planted some all around the U.S. <laughs> Here's another junior. We're headed to Time Out. It's a place on Manvers Road. Oh, there. Okay, thank you. What spicy chicken? These were probably some of the best biscuits I've ever eaten. So we just got to Duke. And the admission building. And we'll be starting this tour. So on the Duke tour, uh, there are a bunch of kids overseas, like there was a girl from France, um, two people from London, this girl from Bermuda, but on um, my tour there's this girl from Wales, and she was visiting all these schools, but she was still a junior, and she was visiting like a different state like every day for her break. Now, the Duke Chapel was huge and it was really well made. Um, there were a ton of stained glass windows and it was just a really pretty thing. That's probably why it was the main attraction at the Duke Chapel, at Duke. And something interesting that the tour guide told us was that there's probably like a two hour waiting period to get married in the Duke Chapel. And here, um, there were people with the Occupy Duke, and they covered up the statue. And they are also doing this at UNC, they are doing Occupy Chapel Hill. So, just protesting. Right now we're gonna go look at the famous Cameron Stadium. It was really cool actually being able to go inside of Cameron Stadium, you know, where Duke plays. And it was just really cool to see that this is where they played, and I was able to go there and visit it. So here they had just a bunch of pictures about all the people who were star athletes out of Duke and that came out of Duke. They even had a picture of Coach K, you know, a famous person coaching at Duke. So that was pretty cool to see. On the court. Now here it was pretty cool to actually be able to go onto Cameron Stadium and you know be in the student section where all the Cameron crazies are and it was kind of surreal to me that I was actually there and after visiting all the basketball stuff at Duke and all the athletics uh, we headed over to Chapel Hill to see Carolina's basketball the basketball museum and they had this pretty cool thing it was uh, Letterman's Lane and we found some Famous names there, like Michael Jordan, Rick Fox, Vince Carter, and that yeah, was pretty cool to see uh, Carolina's athletic program as well. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you the special message about the forecast. The future's cloudy and it's raining on the poor class. Wrote the pieces close, heavy traffic on the war paths. Love is balling on the budget The military says it's gonna need more cash To keep fighting for your gas Keep us in our hoods and hope we never explore past Stay inside of your half Believe the lies you learned in your class That there's no treasure in your trash And a Sealy has the same feeling that the floor has And that's where you should stay This is what they play Over again, over again, over again, over again, over again, over again. Tuned into the week.
weakest frequency of fear keep you after an hour of driving in the middle of nowhere we found this famous Pinehurst golf course All along Carolina, there were just trees everywhere. You know, wherever we drove, there were trees lining the highways and all the back roads and just everywhere. So it made it kind of hard to navigate, but we managed to get through it. We're at the airport and we're about to leave North Carolina. We finally landed in Denver after four days and Overall, I liked the trip. I had a lot of fun. It was a good experience. And it'd be cool to be able to go to school at North Carolina. And there's one more thing. Uh, if you've noticed, I've started calling these things dailies. It's day in the life of Yucker because they're not really vlogs. They're more documents. So I came up with that title. And so yeah, until next time, keep it tame, guys. Let's <laughs> go.